Pluto is a far-off and confusing planet that was once important for our nearby planetary system's family. However, upsetting declarations by leading astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson and MIT's Michio Kaku have brought Pluto back into the spotlight with a stunning discovery. They suggest that this freezing world is on a potential brief collision course with Neptune. But how could this happen, and what might be the consequences of such a monumental event? Are we witnessing a looming impact, or is there something else about this approaching disaster? Join us as we explore the possible outcomes of a Pluto-Neptune collision. Pluto, a former planet that was renamed a dwarf planet, partly due to its eccentric orbit, remains a subject of interest and study in the astronomical community. As demonstrated by recent figures from leading experts, Pluto's orbit is dangerously close to Neptune's. Astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku are raising the alarm about a potential catastrophic impact between these two planets, which could pose a significant threat to Earth. But how is such an event even possible? Pluto's journey around the Sun is unlike any other planet in our solar system. It takes a remarkable 248 years to complete one orbit, meaning that since its discovery in 1930, it hasn't even completed one full revolution. Still, the fascination doesn't end there. Pluto's orbit is marked by its extremely elliptical shape, deviating drastically from the nearly round orbits of the major planets. What makes Pluto's orbit even more intriguing is that it is tilted by 17 degrees to the ecliptic plane. The way Pluto follows its path is much steeper compared to other planets. This tilt and irregularity add layers of complexity to its orbital pattern. Perhaps one of the most fascinating aspects of Pluto's orbit is its intersection with Neptune's orbit. For nearly 20 years during each orbit, Pluto actually comes closer to the Sun than Neptune. This challenges our expectations of their positions in the solar system. This leads to the natural question, why hasn't Pluto collided with Neptune? The answer lies in the gravitational effects of other planets. The study of Pluto's orbit began shortly after its discovery. Initially, astronomers try to make sense of its unusual orbit. Unlike other planets whose orbits lie relatively close to the ecliptic plane, Pluto's path stood out with its steep tilt and erratic shape. The mystery deepened when it was realized that Pluto's orbit does indeed cross Neptune's. The complexity of Pluto's orbit amidst these challenges is a testament to the intricacies of celestial mechanics. The three-body problem in space involves figuring out how three objects, like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, interact and influence each other through gravity. It's like trying to predict where they will go based on their starting positions and how they pull on each other. For Pluto's case, this problem shows how its orbit, Neptune's orbit, and the Sun's gravity all work together in a complex manner. The terms alpha libration and degree libration, along with the VZK influence, are crucial to this puzzle. According to astrophysicists, what keeps all planets in their orbits is a phenomenon known as alpha libration. Regarding Pluto and Neptune, this term means that when Pluto crosses Neptune's orbit, it is positioned about 90 degrees away from Neptune. This spatial separation is crucial in preventing their orbits from colliding. Degree libration on the other hand, refers to the vertical movement of a celestial body in its orbit. For Pluto, this means that when it gets closest to Neptune or any other giant planet, it is positioned well above their orbital plane, providing an extra layer of protection from potential impacts. Another critical factor in this scenario is the VZK influence, named after three researchers, Zippel, Leo, and Kai, who studied how objects move in space. It describes how three celestial bodies, like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, pull on each other with their gravity. This pulling affects how they move. For Pluto's situation, the VZK influence helps explain why its orbit around the Sun is so unusual. Despite Pluto's orbit appearing chaotic, this influence helps keep it moving smoothly from now on. The VZK influence shows that even though things in space may appear wild and unpredictable, some patterns and rules maintain control. These factors help keep Pluto's orbit stable, ensuring it doesn't collide with Neptune or lose its course. 
This three-body problem helps us understand how these orbits change based on how celestial bodies pull on each other. Focusing on this helps us learn more about Pluto, our solar system, and distant stars and galaxies. Numerical simulations in the late 1980s revealed that, despite these stabilizing factors, Pluto's orbit is still relatively chaotic, with small variations in initial conditions leading to massive differences over millions of years. However, these unpredictable properties of Pluto's orbit have been shown to maintain stability over long periods, effectively keeping the chaos in check. Recent computer models have helped us understand how giant planets like Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn affect Pluto's path around the Sun Neptune has a unique relationship with Pluto, where for every orbit Pluto makes around the Sun, Neptune completes three. This connection helps keep Pluto's orbit stable. However, Neptune isn't alone in contributing to this stability. Jupiter's gravity also plays a significant role in protecting Pluto's orbit, and Saturn contributes significantly as well. These simulations show that Jupiter's gravity alone is strong enough to ensure Pluto stays on a steady orbit for a long time, possibly even billions of years. It seems that Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn are working together to ensure Pluto continues to move safely through space without running into trouble. These phenomena are crucial when it comes to the universe, as they help maintain the control and consistency of celestial bodies' movements. Without these forces, the solar system as we know it would be a place of much greater chaos and unpredictability. Bodies like Pluto could collide with others or be ejected from their stable orbits, triggering a chain reaction on other celestial bodies. For Pluto, especially, with discussions about it potentially colliding with Neptune in the future, understanding its orbit is key. This gives us a clearer picture of the dynamics of our solar system. The case of Pluto illustrates how even the most seemingly unstable orbits can reach a state of stability through the intricate exchange of gravitational forces and orbital mechanics. It also highlights the importance of continuous observation and study of these phenomena to better understand our place in the universe. Exploring the depths of space often forces us to confront the strange nature of celestial bodies, and Pluto's orbit is a perfect example of this oddity. The concept of orbital chaos, which refers to the delicate dependence of a celestial body's orbit on its initial conditions, is strikingly demonstrated in the case of Pluto, this means that even slight changes in the dwarf planet's position or velocity can significantly alter its long-term trajectory in the vastness of our solar system. Pluto occupies a unique position that challenges our understanding of planetary classification and dynamics. Since its discovery in 1930, Pluto has undergone extensive study, leading to major discoveries about its structure and behavior. One of the most fascinating aspects of Pluto is its surface, which is an intricate tapestry of ice, rock, and various compounds. NASA's New Horizons mission, which flew by Pluto in July 2015, provided stunning data about this distant world. The surface of Pluto is characterized by vast fields, towering mountains, and deep valleys. One of the most remarkable features is the Sputnik Planitia, a massive heart-shaped plane primarily composed of nitrogen ice. This region showcases a diverse array of landforms, including massive ice sheets and what appear to be flowing glaciers. The presence of these features suggests that Pluto may still be geologically active despite its great distance from the sun and low temperatures. Another captivating aspect of Pluto is its atmosphere, mainly composed of nitrogen, with traces of methane and carbon monoxide. Pluto's atmosphere is thin, but it shows intriguing seasonal variations. As Pluto moves closer to the Sun in that its elongated orbit, its atmosphere can expand and contract. This behavior is a reflection of the complex relationship between Pluto and its environment. During its closest approach to the Sun, some of the atmospheric gases may freeze out onto the surface, while as it moves farther away, these gases can sublimate back into the atmosphere. The interaction between Pluto and its largest moon, Charon, also adds complexity to the system. Charon is relatively large compared to Pluto, with a diameter about half that of Pluto itself. 
This size ratio means that the two bodies orbit around a point in space between them, rather than Pluto simply rotating around Charon. This unique relationship contributes to the complex gravitational dynamics in the region, influencing the orbits of other objects in the Kuiper Belt. The Kuiper Belt, a region beyond Neptune populated with small icy bodies, is home to various other dwarf planets and potential impactors. This belt is a reservoir of ancient material from the early solar system, offering scientists a glimpse into its formation. Pluto's orbital characteristics might provide insights into the development patterns of these distant objects, suggesting that interactions with larger planets may have played a significant role in shaping their current orbits. One of the key implications of understanding Pluto's orbital dynamics is the potential impact on how we understand the evolution of the solar system. Gravitational interactions from nearby giant planets, like Jupiter and Neptune, can modify the orbits of smaller bodies, including Pluto. Understanding these interactions is crucial for shedding light on the broader processes that govern the evolution of our solar system. These gravitational exchanges between large planets like Neptune and Jupiter and smaller bodies like Pluto can alter the trajectories of objects in the Kuiper Belt and beyond. Over time, this can lead to changes in the structure and composition of the solar system, influencing how planets, moons, and other celestial bodies are arranged. One of the most intriguing aspects of Pluto's orbit is its potential to offer clues about the early solar system's dynamics. The gravitational interactions between Pluto and other planets, especially Neptune, have played a pivotal role in shaping its current orbit and the stability of its path. These interactions are also responsible for preventing potential collisions, ensuring that Pluto remains in a relatively stable orbit despite the challenges posed by its eccentric path. The study of Pluto and its orbit can also help us understand the larger forces at play in the outer solar system. For example, the Kuiper Belt, where Pluto resides, contains numerous other icy bodies and dwarf planets that could reveal more about the conditions and events that led to the formation of our solar system. These objects are remnants of the early solar system, and studying them can provide important insights into the processes that shape the planets and other celestial bodies we observe today. Pluto's unique orbital characteristics also have implications for our understanding of planetary classification. While Pluto was once considered the ninth planet in the solar system, its reclassification as a dwarf planet has sparked debate about how we define what constitutes a planet. The study of Pluto challenges traditional definitions and encourages scientists to rethink how we categorize celestial bodies based on their size, orbit, and other characteristics. Additionally, the discovery of Pluto's diverse surface and its active geological features has forced scientists to reconsider the possibility of planetary activity in distant regions of the solar system. Pluto's ice sheets, mountains, and potential glaciers suggest that, despite its location at the farthest reaches of the solar system, the planet is not entirely inactive. This finding opens up the possibility that other icy worlds in the outer solar system might also harbor active processes beneath their frozen surfaces. The presence of a thin atmosphere on Pluto further complicates our understanding of planetary conditions in the outer solar system. Despite being located far from the sun, Pluto experiences seasonal changes that affect its atmosphere. These changes along with the interaction between Pluto and its moon Charon, provides scientists with valuable information about the complex dynamics of distant celestial bodies. Ultimately, studying Pluto's orbit and surface features contributes to our broader understanding of the solar system and its history. As we continue to observe and analyze Pluto and other similar objects, we gain deeper insights into the forces that have shaped the solar system's architecture and the potential for active processes even in the most distant regions. The study of Pluto also provides important lessons about the nature of celestial mechanics and the complexity of orbital dynamics. As we refine our models of how planets and dwarf planets move and interact, we gain a better understanding of the stability and unpredictability of orbits. This knowledge is essential not only for studying objects within our own solar system, but also for understanding exoplanets and other star systems. Moreover, 
Understanding Pluto's orbital behavior and the interactions between its gravity and that of other planets is crucial for planetary defense. While Pluto itself may not pose an immediate threat to Earth, studying these distant objects can help us predict the movement of potentially hazardous asteroids or comets. By understanding how objects like Pluto can be nudged or altered in their orbits by the gravitational forces of neighboring planets, we can apply similar principles to detect and mitigate possible impacts from near-Earth objects. The New Horizons mission's flyby of Pluto in 2015 also revolutionized our understanding of the dwarf planet. The spacecraft provided stunning images and data that revealed Pluto's diverse geological features, such as vast plains, mountains, and craters, which are indicative of its geological activity. These findings suggest that Pluto, despite its distant location, has a more dynamic history than previously believed. It challenges our assumptions about how distant planets and dwarf planets behave and how they evolve over time. The insights gained from studying Pluto are not limited to our understanding of the outer solar system. These discoveries can have broader implications for planetary science. For example, Pluto's atmosphere, though thin, is subject to the same physical principles that govern atmospheric dynamics on other planets, including those in the habitable zone. The study of Pluto's atmospheric changes, especially its seasonal variation as it moves in its elliptical orbit, can offer valuable comparisons for how atmospheres behave on exoplanets. In addition to its geological and atmospheric characteristics, Pluto's role in the Kuiper Belt is also significant. The Kuiper Belt, home to many other icy bodies and dwarf planets, is an important region for studying the early solar system. The objects in this region are thought to be remnants from the formation of the solar system, and by studying Pluto and its neighbors, we gain a better understanding of the conditions and processes that led to the formation of the planets, moons, and other objects we see today. Furthermore, the ongoing study of Pluto and the Kuiper Belt can offer clues about the broader formation and evolution of planetary systems. The way that Pluto interacts with Neptune and other nearby objects could provide important insights into how planetary systems develop over time. For instance, the gravitational interactions between Pluto and Neptune may shed light on how planets in other systems maintain stability over long periods or how they may undergo shifts in their orbits due to the influence of nearby massive objects. As technology advances, our ability to study distant objects like Pluto will continue to improve. Future missions, such as those designed to explore the Kuiper Belt and beyond, will offer even more detailed data about the formation and behavior of objects at the edges of the solar system. These missions may also provide the tools to detect similar objects in other star systems, expanding our understanding of the universe beyond our own cosmic neighborhood. In conclusion, Pluto's unique place in the solar system offers us a wealth of knowledge about celestial mechanics, planetary evolution, and the history of our solar system. Its complex orbit, geological activity, and interaction with other planets, especially Neptune, provide valuable insights into the forces that shape the cosmos. As our understanding of Pluto deepens, it enriches our comprehension of the broader dynamics of the universe and the processes that govern the formation and stability of planetary systems. Through continued exploration and study, Pluto remains a key object in the quest to understand the mysteries of our solar system and beyond.